It's quarter to seven. This is Morning Live and a warm welcome back. The SABC Summer Song 2016-2017 has been announced. The production aims to seek out and award the most popular song of the year. Now the campaign also brings all 18 SABC radio stations together and each radio station encourages their listeners to vote for a favorite song which should be on that particular station's playlist. Now the artist who won the summer song of the year was Mroza, a Maskandi artist with his track Fandam. Now to chat to us more about the, on this outcome, we have in studio Owen Lover, the founder of this initiative. Uh, Mr. Lover, very warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining us on Morning Live. Now the winner of the SAPC Summer Song of the Year was announced at the last dance in Riches Bay on the 31st. How did you reach the, this decision? Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for having me and thank you to Morning Live. First of all, let me thank the support that we have received from Morning Live from day one, uh, educating about people how to vote and thanks to the people that have voted. Now, um, it was simple. We gave everybody equal chance. We said all 18 radio stations of SABC must uh, 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 get the support from the, from the public, mm -hmm. educate the public in terms of how we're voting. And it's simple. There's no genre. You can vote for any song of your choice. Now, you had uh, different stations pushing and promoting this in their own way because of they had to own it. Remember, each and every radio station has a, their culture of, of, of music and they've got a different audience and market. Now, You'll find a station like Kukosi that is more dominated by Maskande music, gospel mm -hmm. music, and you've got RSG that is dominated by African music. So they will always promote their genres of music. Now you had already, as early as the 1st of December, first week of December, five artists already dominating. And those artists started pushing themselves. So it was the responsibility of the artists also to market themselves, to put themselves in the social media, encourage their fans to vote for them. And also they had radio stations because of SABC has a radio station in all provinces. Mm -hmm. So the station, uh, the artists had a right to go there to ask for the support and say, this is the song that I have. I would like you guys to assist and push me. So it was only the artists to market themselves and put themselves and make their name known out there. So people have spoken. It was a vote from day one. What happens is in the rules, we look at the song must have appeared at least in five radio stations out of 18. Not necessarily number one. You just have to appear there on Okozi, on RSG, on Metro. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, once we see that this song appears to be voted for on five radio stations, then we count the number of votes. And then that's what determines the winner. It's not about popularity. It's not about how many times you've been played on radio or being number one on a certain station. You just have to appear in five radio stations and have the most number of votes. And that's how Mroza, the Maskanda guy, has done it. And people don't understand how this guy has done it. This guy was supported by all popular Maskande artists. They went to the social media to say, I am sorry and so, but please don't vote for me, vote for this guy because of he was the only guy that was seen to be closer mm -hmm. to winning it. And everybody started galvanizing the support for this guy. Mm -hmm. And you'll remember also, um, in as much as I love house music, I love hip hop music, but music that is most bought in the country is still gospel and maskand. Mm. So that loyalty is still there and that has worked. So at what lengths did the radio station uh, go insofar as educating the listeners about the voting process? Because people have been complaining that what is this SAPC Summer Song of the Year? Uh, I mean, I know it's a fairly new <laughs> initiative, but then boom, there's a Song of the Year. <laughs> to be quite honest, we, we started last year. Uh, we started last year. Nati Mankai won it, even though uh, we, voted, we, we, we voted only for five days. It was only for a week. But of course, Morning Live also was there. So you're right. The radio stations must do more, like Morning Live is doing. Uh, it can't be the only station that is, uh, uh, that is pushing and promoting and educating people. Mm. Everybody's got an, uh, a responsibility to educate, inform, and, uh, and, and, and entertain. So we are appealing once again to radio stations to assist us in teaching people on how to vote and uh, starting as early as possible. But, you know, every early stage has got teething problems. But mm. uh, I'm happy with the, with the, uh, uh, the results. And we have... Uh, voted more than one million uh, uh, SMSs. So I think for the start, it's not a bad start.
Mm, mm. Now, this casts doubts on the validity of the results. I mean, you've just admitted yourself now that uh, the radio stations should do more in terms of uh, educating the listeners about the voting process. Mm. So just how valid are these results, seeing that there's no independent audit for this? No, there is an independent uh, uh, audit. Who? We have Susan Who Zaluba, uh, uh, that is auditing this. Very credible uh, auditing company. And uh, p uh, the results will be issued today. We have sat with the spokesperson of the SAPC yesterday. Today, we'll be issuing exactly the results with the figures in terms of how the figures went. Number one, of course, it was uh, uh, the Mascand guy, Mroza with Fandam. And number two was a, a young guy also coming from the north, King Monada, with, with a new check in Reiki. I, I, I'm happy with this thing because of last year, the winner was someone that was new, that had never recorded before. That was Nati Mankai. And also this year, showing that the playing fields are level, we have a new karma in King Monada that has put up a good fight. It was neck and neck between uh, King Monada, uh, Mureki, as well as uh, uh, Fandame by, by Mroza. But of course, number three, the favorite, of course, Babes World Umo, that didn't do much in terms of really marketing itself. I was checking all the social medias. I didn't see the strong marketing. But of course, he had a good song. But I can tell you also, you had another one coming up strong, Dr. Malinga. Dr. Malinga has gone on television, gone on social media marketing mm -hmm. himself, and he did very, very well as an example of how this thing is done. And of course, you've got Dira. Mm -hmm. Dira went as far with the Devon's finest to to. to to gather support from other artists as well. Mm. And Fresh was one of the artists that was... So, Owen, oh, are these results based on the audits or is it just uh, popularity or the social media presence? No, it's based on audit. We only counting the votes. I was there when the vote was counted. We get all the votes to say, okay, from uh, RSG, from Mokose, Metro, these are, uh, are the numbers, and then we put all these numbers together, all 18 radio stations, and then check if, you, of course, you do appear in all five radio stations, and then we declare... Oh, and shed some it. light. You just said uh, the auditors will announce the results today, yet yeah. the winners have already been announced. No, it, no, it, no. It, it makes absolutely we're, no sense we're to gonna make it public. We're going to make it public today because of... We've been telling who's number one. But people What's the are, point of making it public when the winner has already been announced? No, you know, the, because of the pressure from the, from the social media, of course, they want to know the figures. So we said today, let's release the figures so that they can see the difference. Because of, people believe that King Monada has beaten Mroza. And we're saying no. So now today, we are obliged to, to show uh, uh, the public that Monada actually gets so many votes and Mroza uh, gets so many votes. So, so we are succumbing to pressure because people are, are no, doubting the validity of the results. Not necessarily, my brother. Every... January and Morning Live was there last year. We have a handover that is coming on the 26th, on the 26th at Imparas Palace, 26th of January, where we'll be handing over the cars, where we'll be issuing everything and answering and every question that uh, uh, people would like to know. So we always have a, a handover ceremony after 30 days of, of the actual announcement. So we always do that. We were going to issue the results and the cars. Remember, this year we're issuing three cars. There's a car mm -hmm. for, for the winner that has voted for their favorite song and there's a car for for, for, for the winner that has only sent his TV license. So mm. we're giving away a car for, to thank people to say, thank you, thank you for watching Morning Live, but please pay your TV license and it pays. And we're giving a car for that. And also one car is going to Mroza, of course, for winning. And Mroza takes a check, of course, of 150,000 rand. So Just briefly, what has been the response from the artists? The artists have been very supportive. Mm. Uh, the artists are very excited about it. And I've got no doubt because of the support that you guys have given us. And uh, the, 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 <coughs> actually, the, sorry, the, 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 the nature of, of the actual uh, campaign, okay. of the actual competition is drawing a huge interest. And uh, artists will continue to support. They've All marketed right. themselves. They've been present in the social media. And All I right. thank them. I thank them for the support. Owen. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, Owen. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is the, the founder of the SAPC Summer Song of the Year Initiative, Mr. Owen Glovu, uh, speaking to us about how they arrived at the results, uh, uh, pitting uh, the Mroza against the other artist who's just won the Song of the Year called Van Dam. Uh, we thank him for his time. All right, let's now take a look at what's taking place on the music scene in Kenya.